Hollow Knight, the game that is equal parts beautiful and brutal. Oh! And I, like many, love this game. I've played it, I've beaten it only once, but I rushed through it and I didn't really give it the attention or exploration that it deserves. So I decided to play through it again. Hollow Knight is also a game that's filled with lore and a cast of characters that I chose to give voices to. So you may hear some familiar ones along the way. And this is easily the most ambitious project I've ever worked on. And I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's been involved. Your support really means a lot to me. And lastly, if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing because that also helps me out. And we're approaching a pretty huge milestone. That's all, enjoy the ride. There he is, little bug boy. It's just, everything seems so cold and he seems so alone, but don't we all? Oh, I mean, uh, this is um, supposed to be uh, funny. And we're gonna have a good time playing this game. He just stares off into the distance at what looks like Atlantic City. I feel like that probably would have hurt. Ah. All right, we could just open doors without breaking them. That's fine. I'm about it. I like how we also assume that these bugs are bad. So we just kill them instantly. Ah. So fortunately, we're full health and it's going to stay that way cuz we're going to play through this entire game and I'm not even going to get hit one time. Uh-oh. Damn it. Now I got to go all the way back around. Okay, that looks sketch. Who inspects these things anyway? Do they have, like, a city planner that comes around and is like, oh, yep, okay, the rickety bridge, uh, that looks like it's in danger of collapsing. All right, on to the next thing. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness. Yeah, whatever. I ain't obeying nothing. Open up. Yep, definitely is gonna piss somebody off. Ah, civilization. Dirtmouth. The fading town. Oh, hello, sir. Ho oh, there, traveler. Afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Isn't that kind of ironic, though? Anyway, our town's fallen quiet, you see. What happened, everybody? Where did everyone go? The other residents, they all disappeared. Headed down that well right there, one by one, into the caverns below, and poof. Oh, well, why are you still here? Why didn't you go with them? Well, I, I was supposed to, but they didn't install that chair that goes up and down the stairs yet, and these old bones can't seem to make the trip. <laughs> So I just sit on this bench all day and read my stories. That doesn't sound too good. What do you think happened? Why hasn't everyone come back yet? It's the air down there, my boy. That sickly air. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. It's a shame because there used to be a great kingdom down below, but it's fallen to ruin for some reason. They just can't stay away. Something about the promise of dreams fulfilled. Damn kids in their dreams. Back in my day, we worked. And pizza used to only cost one geo. Well, it sounds like I'd better head down there before things get any worse, but by the looks of it, I don't think it can get any worse. Thanks for the tip, old man. Be wary of the air, young traveler. The air, oh, <laughs> I done pooped myself. What time is it anyway? It's gotta be like late or early. Time is irrelevant underground though. All right, the forgotten crossroads where our uh, damageless playthrough will continue. I feel so helpless without my abilities. Uh-oh. Almost took some damage there. Would have had to end the run. Who's crying? Either someone's sad or it sounds like someone maybe ate a bad burrito. Hello up there. How you doing? Hey, down here. Stop, stop crying for a second. I'm here to help. I'll be honest. I don't really remember where I have to go because it's been a year, but all right, let's talk to Cornifer. Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Well, don't mind me. I'm just making maps. Got mouths to feed. You know how it is. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Ah, I, I see. Uh, hey, listen, I, I'm not a business owner or anything, but maybe you don't want to leave your papers, I don't know, strewn all over the place. Oh, sorry, I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again, it's a pleasure. I mean, I, I know this place is kind of a shithole, and the Loodle are trying to feast on my flesh, but think of the environment. All right, listen, pal, I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on a map of this area. You do want to know where you're going, right? Uh... Well, good. I'll cut you a deal. 30 Geo, and it's yours. Uh, I guess that sounds pretty great. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you. Look for me in the next area, and be sure to leave us a good review on Buggle. Ah, another satisfied customer. You did it again, Cordifer. Oh, that's not good. I want to say, like, first boss, but it's just like this little dude. Or I guess several of them. Oh, God. Back. Oh, okay. oh don't hurt me. Keep your... Ow! Oh, that hurt. Keep your mucus away from me. Ow! Let me heal back up. Stand here and convulse. 
This would have been a no damage run, but I've been sabotaged by my own people. As I was saying, I've played this game once and I didn't really give it the attention that it deserved, even though I did beat the game. There's so much lore and places to explore that I kind of just, I don't know, it, it all feels like a blur. It's like, it's like the thing in Metroid Dread. Oh no, ow! Ouch! Suffering from money. Oh, come on! Hold up, I do need to find Cornifer's wife though, because I need a compass, because I don't know where the hell I'm going. And if you're playing a Metroidvania, let me tell you, you probably want to have some idea of where you are on the map. Oh, hello. You gotta free this little dude. Yeah, you're welcome. I love Cornifer's little hum. As you can tell, he really doesn't have a care in the world. He's just like, I'm gonna sell my maps, and that's it. Like, he's just here chilling, just doodling. Kinda looks like Mr. Dink. I'm Dink, Blood Dink. You can call me Mr. Dink. Uh, excuse me, have you seen a uh, corner for his wife? She's about yay big. Also, kind of a bug like yourself. This is the room where we have to get the three. Oh, hello. Oh, hey there. It's so delightful to be another traveler on these forgotten roads. To be honest, I was getting a bit lonely. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm, uh, the knight. I guess my parents hated me. Why? You're a short one, but you've got a strong look about you. Gee, thanks. Anyway, nice to meet you, TK. I'm Quirrell, and I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. I could wander around all day. Oh, great. Well, I have this map of... Not interested, but did you know this kingdom is full of fascinating mysteries? And one of the most intriguing... Yeah? The egg, man. The egg! Look at this thing. It's just sitting here in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. It's warm, and kind of smells. I guess that is kind of fascinating, but an egg this big had to have been laid by something bigger, right? I don't know, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it, or the inside. Man, I hope it has a cream filling like those Cadbury eggs. I'll get you later, though. I'm going to go stare at this egg some more. All right, let's ascend. I said, let's ascend. Oh, that's how you ascend. A stone door with a simple lock. Well, we need to find a simple key. All right, see. Oh, looks like uh, the store is open. Hello, you must be corner for his wife. <sighs> Listen, he sent me here. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. No, I don't need a map. I need a, a compass. 220? Who knew inflation was so bad down here in Dirtmouth? All right, I'll be back. All right, so we just gotta farm a little bit. Just gotta kill some bugs, take their geo. I like how everyone has a little bit of money. A couple geo in their pocket. A heart full of dreams. Oh, he's not crying anymore. That's right, we gotta find all of his children. Oh, dude, that's just what I needed. All right, if you're gonna pay me, I'll go find some more of your kids. I like how the soul meter looks like it's filled with liquid, which just further confirms the fact that uh, our souls are made of milk. All right, lady, I got your money. Now give me the compass so I can figure out where the hell I'm going. So I guess the logical first step here would be to go down and right. I already feel all the comments being like, Chuck, that is not the most optimal path. Actually, what you want to do is, listen, if we're going to play this game, we're going to play it on my terms. I just, I love how beautifully haunting this game is. Oh, hello, big boy. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Woo. He can clobber me, though. If I'm like a second off, being that I don't have a dash, I'm dead. But I'm too good at this game. All right, hand over your money. He had quite a bit of cash, too. Probably getting paid well. Got to free my homies. Oh, they hear what's his name? The dude mining. Let's make some more friends. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sister two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of song is that? That's horrible. And why does it sound so cheery? <laughs> you don't know that one? It's one of my favorites. We could sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. <clears throat> My neck, my back, lick my... Everything's out here to kill me. Like they said, everyone just kind of comes down here and goes crazy. Oh, sorry, friends. I can't quite reach you yet. But I promise, as soon as I get the air dash, I'm coming back for you. Hello, wake up, boss fight time. Ouch, no, please don't, please don't. Don't smush me. I don't know, if you ask me, this doesn't seem like the most optimal combat strategy. Just bashing yourself against the ceiling and floor. Oh, what's in your belly? Come on out. Oh, gross. Figures they were probably just trying to sneak into an R-rated movie. Oh, hello! Uh, what? Oh, Who the hell are you? Papa. I'm the knight. First name, the last name, knight. What kind of stupid name is that? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <coughs> uh, are you okay? The air down these ruins don't exactly agree with me. Anyway, I'm Sly. I used to live an eventful life up in Dirtmouth. 
but somehow I ended up down here. Thanks for waking me up, though. What a wild dream. Uh, no problem. Uh, listen, I gotta take off, but it was nice meeting you. Listen, if you return above, come see me in my shop. I don't give discounts, though. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll see you around. Bring money! So I have a question, and maybe this is in the lore and I just, I haven't heard it or paid enough attention. If the air is affecting bugs, why am I not affected? Aha! Finally, a worthy opponent! Just bounce on his head. So that's one of the cool things you can do in this game. You can just kind of bounce on enemies' heads. Or anything, really. A little dark and foggy here. Um, I- Ow! Okay, you know what? We're leaving. I love the little animation of the knight looking down at the map whenever you have the map open. Ooh, there's a lot of spikes here. I can get that. I can do that. I need no abilities to get that guy. Look at- l Ouch. Alright, almost. I, I almost did it. I just- I can't really afford to die here. There we oh, come on! I feel like as a gamer, I can't back away from this challenge. Some of you are probably cringing. Yeah, we did it! Because you're like, Chuck, that's like the easiest jump to make in this entire game. And you're gonna have a blast with the Path of Pain. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do it. Maybe. We'll see. You know what they say, though? Not all who wander are lost. Except for me. I am definitely lost. We're just going further down and down the rabbit hole. Can't get up there yet. I need, like, the wall jump. Where's Dr. Light about now? I need one of those capsules. Man, playing a Mega Man X game and seeing a Dr. Light capsule? That was great, because you're always like, hell yeah. I'm gonna get an upgrade now. A toll machine with a symbol of a stag. Insert Geo? Yes. Honestly, it beats paying the toll. I'll take public transport. That's not horrifying at all. Let's get on this random bug. All right, we're gonna head this way. Oh man, there's just a bunch of creepers over here. There's a bunch of weirdos hanging out in the back alley. More possessed beetles? You say possessed, I say, oh god. It's time to fight the false knight. It's been a minute. Uh, I gotta remember, what is his pattern? I think he just does the same thing that the other dude does. Oh god, ouch! Oh, he bonked me right on the head. That's right, we hit him, and then his like, little, like, Goron head pops out. Look at him! He looks like a Goron. You know, like one, ouch! Okay, he's, he's throwing a fit now. Ouch, 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 ouch. I got nowhere to go, so please just like back up. Oh god! Get, get down there. Get down. Let me see your little meatball head. <laughs> Look at him. I let's let's not die to the false knight. I might. It, it might. Okay, hang on. Just stay down for like a second. Let me heal up. He's just staring at me. He's like, "Come on, man." I think this is it, though. Nope. I lied. Oh. Oh God. I wasn't ready for that. You want to take the fight down here? You got it. Did he like seppuku himself with his mace? He's kind of tiny. How did he power like that giant suit? Oh, thank you. I'll take that city crest. Rest easy, false knight. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a crap ton of money. This is his personal stash, but you know what? Um, I, I didn't see anything. There was no money in there. Don't know what you're talking about. I've never been here in my life. I'm sorry, false knight who? Hello? The snail shaman. Yo, who's that out there? You looking like you've been through a lot. Just a empty face and a dope looking weapon. What is that? <sighs> So, is, is everyone here rude? Something brought you down here, and I ain't asking what, but what I can't say, you know what I'm saying? I, I have done some things for some, you know what I'm saying, for some great women back in my time. What? No, no it, it's not like that. I'm just trying to figure out this whole infection thing, you know? Hey, man, whatever you say, here, I got a gift for you. Just the, you know, something I whipped up in the inside of this little spot over here, you know? It's perfect for you. I made it just for you, actually. Here, eat this. What the hell is this? It stinks. But you know what they say. The nastiest smelling stuff ends up being the best stuff you ever eat in your life. Try it. Mm. This tastes kind of... Wait, this... This tastes... I, I'm... Good night. Ugh. What happened? Where... And what... What the hell was that thing? Hey, you're up. What's good with you? How you doing? You kind of uh, passed out. On me and I was kind of just sitting here waiting for you to wake up uh, anyway you're good now the spell should work good luck because you're gonna need it spell uh, oh so that's it all right holy <laughs> I just shot a whoa this thing is sick thanks snail dude the ancestral mound we've made it now let's absolutely destroy it I'm just going the long way just to pop back on the other side and then the snail shaman's gonna be like, oh, oh, wow, this is awkward. Okay, uh, don't wanna go down. That's a lot of spikes. You know what? Got a hot take for you guys. Spikes equals bad. Hello? Can I pet? Oh, okay, that's gross. 
Ow! Okay. All right, try eventual speed. I knew. That, I know it. That's what I have to do. I just I wanted to make sure that uh, he knew. He's got really bad acid reflux. Just spitting lava. Here, hold this. Soul catcher. That'll be useful. Oh damn! Come on, just let me on the other side, man. Oh, thank you. It's like a weird saw spinoff. All right, so we have a couple notches. We got a soul catcher now. I gotta say though, this shaman, it, like if this is his house right here, dude's loaded. Dude's got a lot of geo. Hey, you're back. With the money, I hope. Uh, what was that? Nothing. I knew we'd meet again. Welcome to my cozy little shop. I've got some trinkets over here if you want to. What about this? Oh, that was my lunch for the other day, but I ended up just ordering and I forgot to throw it. I mean, that's a super rare egg. It's only one in existence. You definitely don't want that. No, no, no I want it. I want it. Wh what? I mean, uh, I, I guess I'll take it. How much? Uh, 60 Geo? Deal. I need that super rare egg. Thank you. Look how big of a mood change this guy goes through after we return literally two out of his 25 children. I gotta say, this game is truly beautiful, but it only really gets beautiful when you get out of Forgotten Crossroads because it's just like monotone and depressing and I understand like that's probably what they were going for, but like Green Path and some of the later areas are so much better. Watch out for the- yeah, ow. Hit me with the spores. You gotta, like, not get too close because he smells bad. He's just like, oh, woe is me. I smell like rancid meat. So I feel like we should be coming up to our first meeting of Hornet. I mean, like I said, the game's a little fuzzy, but I feel like we're gonna meet her soon. Here she is. Wait, where are you going? She just dipped. There's not that many people down here that aren't crazy. You think she'd want to stay in, I don't know, small talk. Hornet just immediately leaving is actually a great metaphor for the state of Silk Song because we're all like, where is it? And then Team Cherry's like, bye. Once we get that sweet, sweet release date, everything's going to be just a little bit better. And I feel like it's going to be sometime early this year as a surprise. And I'm not totally saying that to cope. They die and they're just like, <laughs> are farts ever going to be not funny? I hate these guys. Like, it's the year 4,300. Androids are in the ruins of New York City, having a meeting about destroying the remaining human rebellion. One of them lets out a fart joke. One of them is like, hey, XY76, listen to this. It just plays like a really crusty wave of a fart, and everyone starts laughing. Oh, hi, Cornifer. Ah, it's you again. Isn't this place such an upgrade for that ratty old dump? I mean, that place was covered in trash. Well, yeah, that was because it's humid, it's lively. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. It's actually making my allergies kind of act up. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Anyway, what can I do for you this time? Well, that last map actually turned out to be pretty useful. Do you maybe have one for these parts? <laughs> do I have a map for Green Path? They don't call me Cornifer, the sexy map man for nothing. Here, I've done my best to chart the area ahead. Though I must admit, some of the inhabitants have proven to be... Quite a nuisance, so you may want to be careful. It was nothing for a seasoned explorer like myself, though. Ah, uh, well, uh, thanks for the heads up. Um, I guess I'll see you later. I remember this one time that a client asked me for a map of Deep Nest. Oh. Uh, okay, bye. There I was, surrounded by stalking devouts, nothing but a pen and a handful of... Oh, Hornet, come back and play, Hornet. I really hope in Silk Song we have those mechanics where we could just, like, needle and thread across the map. That's going to be cool as hell. All right, so we should be coming up to that. Okay, we'll take a bath. Just a nice, relaxing minute in the spa. Everyone deserves one. you got to treat yourself sometimes. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about these guys. They're not so scary. Look, they're just like these little guys. Come back. Stop hiding behind that wig. Not so tough now. Huh? Huh? I like when you hit all the enemies, they just, like, spray out fresh-squeezed orange juice. Seems like a very delicious disease. Ah, good. A bench. Look at him just sitting on the bench. How cute is he? This game is way too pure. I mean, for having such dark lore, the game is too pure. Give me that orange juice. Fun fact, they've been selling you on this whole, like, getting fresh oranges from Florida thing, but this is where all the fresh-squeezed orange juice in the world comes from. I forgot who this is. Hold this. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in- I'm in trouble! I'm dead. First death of the series. Alright, let me kill my own ghost. See, the problem was I went in there with everything hanging out, everything is swinging. Okay, this is bad. I don't really remember the strategy here. I could probably bounce on his head a bunch, but I need some help. I just- I wish I had my arsenal of 
like, attacks or a dash. Ah! Let's try this again. Third time's a charm. I got it now. I'm just gonna do this. See, I botched a couple of my jumps last time. Otherwise, I totally would have taken him down. Great. Now everybody's gonna make fun of me. They're gonna stop making fun of me for something else to start making fun of me for this. What have I done to deserve such torture? We're still in green path, but uh, this ain't very green. More like blue path. No! Thank you. There'll be probably about four episodes of this. Oh, I'll save you. you hey, you look like me. Let my friend go. Here we go. Th this is what I was trying to do. These are the gamer moves. And he broke into pieces. Must have been some disease. Uh, hey man, you, you good? Whoa, 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 hey, pal. Just what do you think you're doing? I- I was just- he- he was- he was going to- You dare come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way? He was literally going to cut you in half, so you're welcome. I had him right where I wanted him. I am Zot the Mighty, after all. THE Zot the Mighty. A knight of great renown. You've probably heard the stories. Oh, well, uh, this, this is awkward, because I haven't. I'm actually lost and was just wondering if you can point me. You haven't heard of me? Uh, no. What do you mean? Remember that night that beheaded the armored squit in the Colosseum of Fools? That's me! It was a big deal! <laughs> Wait, you're the dude who pissed himself in the Colosseum? I remember now, Zoth the Soaked! It was all over BugTube, that video got like 5 million views. <laughs> it was squit blood! It got on my clothes, okay? <laughs> Alright, whatever you say, pal. Listen, I gotta go. Uh, 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 yeah, keep keep walking. Cross me again, and you'll uh, you'll find why they call my weapon the Life Ender. All right, we're getting deeper into Green Path. We defeated like oh, there's another one. Okay, they're just like common enemies, which means I'm garbage at video games. Stop it! Stop it! Oh no! All right, fine. You can have some too. Actually, I'd better get out of here. A few minutes later. All right, I'm coming back now. Don't look so tough now that I got two pieces of health. Oh, crap. No! Oh! I don't know what these enemies are called, but I hate them. They're the bane of my existence. Blocking up. Who does that? See, once I get my bearings, once I get my bag of tricks, you won't dispose of me so easily. Here, hold my soul. See, my problem is I'm impatient and I need to wait out the attacks. Because I just, I like to play so aggressive. I gotta save that slug. It's my sworn duty. Mm, maybe he's not that important. Ah! <sighs> All right, jeez. I'll save you. Only because I saw how sad your grandpa was. Or your father, or weird uncle. See, the fun thing about playing this game for the first time in a year, and it really only being my second time ever playing it, is I feel, oh, it's uh, time to fight Hornet. Come no clo- <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, no, thank you. Come no closer, ghost. Uh, excuse me? You heard what I said, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. You think I wasn't going to notice? Uh, lady, what the f*** are you talking about? Also, I'm not dead yet, I think. This old kingdom? A terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. Listen, uh... Hornet. Hornet. Listen, I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just looking for the dreamers. This whole infection thing has gotten way out of hand. So if you'll just let me pass... Like hell you are! I know what you are! I know what you try to do! I think you've inhaled too many fumes in the fungal wastes. I can't allow it! Prepare to die! But I thought you said I was a ghost. Die! I haven't found a bench. I'm gonna get bodied. Actually, I think I kind of remember her pathing. Yeah, throw the needle. No, I could take her. I got this. Easy fight. Oh, nope, nope. Walked right into the, uh, into the, the bird's nest. Ha! First try. Get out of here. Oh, wait, no, she's not done yet. Whoop, get in there. Isn't it weird how I'll struggle with things that are way easier and then, like, kick Hornet's ass? Hornet's badass, though. I really hope this is the play style we're looking at for uh, Silk Song. I forgot how many hits you can take. Whoa, oh God. She's not giving me time to heal. Give me time to heal. Okay, real quick. One, two. All right, that was pushing it. 
Okay, yeah, I'm in trouble. I was talking smack. <laughs> Just kidding. Too easy. Yeah, you better leave. Huh, what's this? The Mothwing Cloak. Finally. Now I can just, uh, I would, this is what I was waiting for. Would it seek to break the seals? Um, the, the what? The seals. Was I unclear or something? I feel like I said that pretty clearly, which is incredible considering I'm literally a corpse. Or maybe I'm a ghost. Who knows, man? Oh, oh, uh, the seals. Yeah, so I was, I was just checking to make sure you knew what the seals were. Okay, yeah, whatever. So you want to break them or what? They can't be undone. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's bust those seals wide open. They must be undone. Wait, they they must be undone or they can't be undone? Which is it? Because you just said two completely different... Great. 